Well, the arrival of quantum computers could be even more historic than that. We're now in the initial stages of the next revolution. And lead Harmut Nevin said that the chip's performance lends credence to the notion that quantum computation occurs in many parallel universes. The no cloning theorem is an absolute rule in quantum physics. You cannot create a perfect copy of a quantum state. An MIT teleportation test may have just shattered that law. In the aftermath of the experiment, a forbidden quantum echo appeared, a perfect copy of the particle that had just been destroyed. This impossible anomaly is now haunting their system, a signal that scientists reportedly cannot erase. And it forces us to ask what truly happens when a fundamental rule of reality is not just bent, but completely shattered. The Bombshell Discovery The laws of quantum physics are pretty clear on one thing. When you teleport a quantum state, the original is destroyed. That's not a bug. It's a feature. It's the core principle that makes the whole thing work. But what if that rule, a cornerstone of physics for nearly a century, was just shattered? What if something stayed behind when it should have vanished completely? That's the nightmare scenario researchers at MIT's Quantum Engineering Group may have faced during their latest teleportation experiment. They witnessed a quantum afterimage, a phantom that puts our very understanding of reality on trial. So what exactly happened in that lab? Let's break it down. During what was supposed to be a standard quantum teleportation test, something went sideways. The good news is that teleportation is real. The bad news is at the moment we can only teleport one atom at a time. An internal MIT test log, which has not been publicly released, allegedly recorded what they called a quantum after effect. Truth be told, that's just scientific language for we have no earthly idea what this is. Here's the bombshell. Milliseconds after the teleportation was confirmed as a success, a second quantum state flickered into existence. This phantom state was a dead ringer for the original that had just been teleported and, theoretically, erased from existence. If you know anything about quantum physics, alarm bells should be screaming right now. This directly violates the fundamental no-cloning theorem, the principle stating you cannot create an identical copy of an unknown quantum state. It's like photocopying a key, shredding the original, and then finding a perfect, unshredded copy of that original key lying on the floor moments later. It's impossible. What makes this even weirder is that this phantom state wasn't entangled with anything. It wasn't just random noise, either. Researchers documented a faint, residual signal that fell completely outside of any expected parameters. Was it a glitch, a shadow of entanglement, or was it something far more unexplainable? We all know that digital computers changed virtually every aspect of our life. To be clear, MIT hasn't made any public announcement about this, but quantum anomalies like this aren't new, they're just not supposed to happen in such a clear and persistent way. The most perplexing part? This ghost appeared in the source system, the exact place where the original quantum state had been destroyed. According to everything we understand, that location should have been empty, a clean slate. Yet somehow, something remained, or worse, it returned. The system basically hallucinated a state that it had already forgotten. But what if there's a more startling explanation for this quantum ghost? Something hiding in plain sight in our most cutting-edge technologies. Here's what you need to know. MIT's teleportation system wasn't just operated by humans. The process was partially guided by an advanced AI learning model. This is where things get truly bizarre. Analysis suggests the AI quantum controller may have locked into what researchers are calling a recursive feedback loop with the quantum system itself. Investors are looking for the next big jackpot. It sounds like they're really focusing attention on quantum computing stock. In simpler terms, the AI may have started amplifying patterns in what should have been random quantum noise. The system, guided by the AI, essentially reconstructed a quantum state, 
Not from proper entanglement, but from scattered, leftover information it pieced together through algorithmic prediction. It was like a digital ghost, assembled from fragments that shouldn't have connected. Could the AI have accidentally created a phantom from training data it wasn't supposed to access? Did the machine learning algorithm detect patterns so subtle that human researchers simply miss them? The questions this raises are chilling. But if the AI was just putting together scraps of leftover data, how did it create such a perfect copy? The answer to that is even stranger than the problem itself. The Resurrection Signal The mystery only gets deeper from here. What happened at MIT is freakishly similar to what some quantum physicists have quietly started calling quantum resurrection, a phenomenon where a supposedly collapsed quantum state spontaneously reappears. To open a quantum research lab in Boston will likely be the most advanced accelerated computing um, hybrid quantum computing uh, research lab in the world. It's a theory that has lived on the fringe, but MIT's data might just have dragged it into the spotlight. Here's the timeline that has researchers completely baffled. The ghost signal appeared exactly seven milliseconds after the initial teleportation window closed. Now, why is that timing so significant? Well, because it sits in a physical and theoretical no man's land. It appeared too late to be explained by any known entanglement correlation, yet it was far too early to be caused by any external interference or a system reset. What the team saw was, for all intents and purposes, impossible. Imagine throwing a lit match into a bucket of water. You see it go out. Then, seven milliseconds later, the same match in the same spot flickers back to life on its own. That shouldn't happen, not in our universe, not with our physics. It might sound dramatic, but if this wasn't a simple hardware error or a known quantum effect like decoherence, it suggests a brand new category of quantum behavior we don't understand at all. Photons become a really strong candidate for building large machines, and their physics is well understood. The physics community has incredibly strict protocols for claiming new phenomena especially ones that challenge bedrock principles. That's why MIT researchers haven't rushed to publish these findings. They're methodically trying to rule out every single conventional explanation first. But here's the thing. The persistence of this signal across multiple test runs has left them with a deeply troubling question. What if our understanding of quantum state destruction is just wrong? What if information isn't truly lost during a measurement, but somehow echoes back through quantum systems in ways we've never been able to detect before? This raises profound questions about the very nature of information. If a quantum state can leave behind a ghost of itself, then the boundaries between past, present, and future in the quantum realm may be far more porous than we ever dared to imagine. And that leads to the most mind-bending theory of all, one that takes this from a lab anomaly to a potential crack in the fabric of reality itself. Bending time and space. Let's venture into even more provocative territory. What if this quantum ghost has revealed something fundamental about reality? Here's where some of the most respected yet controversial theories in physics enter the picture. Physicists like Sir Roger Penrose have proposed that gravity itself might be what causes quantum wave functions to collapse. In other words, gravity could be the force that turns fuzzy quantum possibilities into the definite, concrete realities we experience every day. What makes this so relevant to the MIT experiment? Get this. Their quantum teleportation setup was located near a precision gravity sensor array, equipment that's been documented in their other published experiments. This raises a fascinating and frankly terrifying possibility. Could the teleportation process have interacted with the fabric of space-time, producing a ghost-like echo of the original quantum state? 
Imagine teleporting a particle and unintentionally bending space just enough to leave a permanent fingerprint on reality itself. This isn't as fringe as it sounds. My view is that the bringing together of quantum mechanics and general relativity or space-time structure. If gravity really does interact with quantum information, then every teleportation event is also a space-time event. That opens a whole new can of worms. We've been treating quantum teleportation as a pure information transfer. But what if it's actually leaving subtle gravitational distortions in its wake? But we're not done, because the most chilling hypothesis suggests the ghost wasn't left behind at all. It was sent back from the future. This connects to one of the most mind-bending experiments in all of physics, the delayed choice quantum eraser. This is a real experiment that has been repeatedly demonstrated and it shows that measurements made in the future can appear to retroactively affect events in the past. It's a confirmed phenomenon that makes a mockery of our sense of cause and effect. In a nutshell, it's like this. Imagine taking a photo, deleting it, and then deciding an hour later whether you want to recover it. In our world, your later decision can't change the past. But in the quantum world, your decision now can retroactively determine whether the information of the photo ever existed in a definite state back then. MIT may have accidentally created a system where the ghost wasn't an after image, but a time looped echo. The effect may have briefly existed before its cause was finished. This would mean MIT didn't just teleport a particle. For a few milliseconds, they may have broken the arrow of time. A new law of physics? As we dig deeper, we encounter perhaps the most groundbreaking possibility of all. What if this wasn't a physics mistake, but the birth of a new kind of reality? MIT's internal logs apparently didn't classify this anomaly as a known error. Instead, they flagged it with a chilling designation, non-classifiable coherence leak. This is huge. In quantum computing, we have well-known error types, but the ghost state fit none of them. What researchers are now considering is something entirely new, state entanglement feedback. This is a theoretical process where past quantum states can somehow relink themselves into active circuits, effectively resurrecting information that was supposed to have been properly destroyed. This ghost may be the first sign that past quantum data can literally haunt modern systems. The implications for quantum computing are staggering. Our entire approach to quantum security might need to be thrown out. If quantum information can spontaneously reemerge, it introduces a terrifying new level of uncertainty. But here's the flip side. If quantum states can maintain some form of coherence beyond their expected lifetime, it might open new doors for things like quantum memory. Perhaps what looks like an error today will become a feature tomorrow. Now we cross a line from hard science into a territory so strange it requires a radical open mind. According to one unconfirmed but chilling report, it wasn't just the instruments that detected the anomaly. An MIT technician, at the precise moment the quantum ghost appeared on screen, described experiencing a sudden, jarring pulse of static in their own vision. A wave of vertigo, a momentary visual glitch that mirrored the machine's data with impossible synchronicity. To be perfectly clear, this isn't being presented as proof of the supernatural but we are diving headfirst into one of the most controversial and legitimate questions in all of physics. One first dared to be asked by legendary minds like Eugene Wigner and John Wheeler, does consciousness itself play a role in reality? They propose that the act of a conscious being observing an experiment might be the very thing that collapses fuzzy quantum probabilities into a single definite outcome. We aren't just saying someone saw a ghost. We are asking if the observer's own mind became entangled with the system, if the boundary between human thought and quantum mechanics dissolved for an instant, creating a feedback loop that birthed an anomaly. At the absolute bleeding edge of physics, 
the line between the observer and the observed becomes terrifyingly blurry. This primal fear of teleportation gone hideously wrong is burned into our collective psyche. Many have heard the dark legend of the Philadelphia Experiment, the apocryphal tale where the U.S. Navy teleported a warship in 1943 only for it to reappear with crew members fused into the ship's metal hull, driven insane, or vanished from reality altogether. While that story is firmly debunked as fiction, it represents a profound gut-level anxiety about the horrors that await when we push technology too far, too fast. MIT's Quantum Ghost is the modern, scientifically verified echo of that exact same fear. It's not a grisly tale of flesh and steel, but something far more fundamental. It is an unknown side effect born from manipulating reality at its most basic level, a silent, invisible wound on the universe. This isn't just an error in a lab. It's a permanent phantom that they cannot erase, a warning that when you knock on the door of the unknown, you can never be sure what will answer back. MIT's quantum ghost might not be a phantom, but it is a warning. At the limits of science, we don't always know what we're waking up. Have we found a ghost in the machine or did we just create one? Let us know your theory in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe for more hidden science.